Hello and welcome to episode 15 of our Imperial Campaign. In the last episode, what is that? They're about to attack me, aren't they? Let's not have you guys in this space. Let's get you over here to Kuat. So we didn't finally build Captain Nita. He is ready to go. He's really, really good because he's like Vader. He provides a plus 10% bonus to, I think, all ships in your fleet. Let's also... We don't need this ISD-2 here. Let's send that down south. Nope, he has a bonus to all capital ships, so that's not amazing, but it is at least better than nothing. Because right now that fleet had nothing in it. Also, in this episode, the first 10 minutes of this episode or so, I want to take some time. Let's get some of these little envoy killers. And I want to spend the first few minutes of this episode building mines. Because Order Plutonia can build mines, Ryloth, uh... What? Utapau already has mines on it. Solus Vaughn can also build some... Oh, I'm tripping. Alright. We at least need to get some outposts here. Some outposts and some governor's palace to make some money on these planets. I did get a comment saying that a lot of these planets can build mines. And that's definitely something that we need to be doing. Looks like they're attacking the Naxes right now. Hmm. Eight Z95s. Four, only four capital ships. I say only four. It's absolutely going to des destroy this fleet over in Axis, but they've usually been hitting me with at least five or six capital ships. I think my defensive fleet should be able to take this. Take this back. A Vindicator, a Gladiator, a Nebula B2, a Lancer, and an IEC. Not a bad... Ooh, and another Nebula B2. That's a pretty big fleet for a level one space station. Oh boy, we have a convoy. That's actually not bad. Convoys are good because the a it's not like the AI is going to get the money from them, so it it you either get the money for completing the Envoy quest, or you don't have any negatives to it, so can't really complain to getting that, mis that mission. We can go ahead and make you guys group 1, you guys can be my group 2. Right. Station B4, fire this B1. And you guys be two. So group one, fighters, group three, bombers, group two is my ships. All right, perfect. I would love it if we could just manage to take out Juno Eclipse. Because in the next battle, they're going to have a lot of capital ships and fighters. So if we can manage to knock out their artillery ships, if you would consider long-range weapons artillery. I don't know. What do y'all say? Is... Long range turbo lasers considered artillery? I guess it is. Normally, I would consider artillery mostly to be anything with uh, missiles or torpedoes, but I guess everything is considered artillery for being more precise. <clears throat> so, I was going through the Awakening of the Rebellion Discord, and they have a specific chat called the Screenshots and Art Chat. And in there, you see some screenshots of different players playing the game. And they are just absurdly good at the game. Just absolutely insane at this game. And so I asked some of the really, really good players that have... I mean, like, they'll have a screenshot of... They'll, they'll kill a fleet with, like, 10 capital ships, 30 support cruisers, and only lose, like, one dreadnought. It's absolutely insane how good they are at this game. And so I asked them... Just gonna well, I asked them, I said... How are y'all so good at this game? And my first question was, when you are attacking an enemy ship, do you target the holes of a ship or the specific hard points? And obviously they said that it varies. I'm going to send my defensive fleet to an axis and hopefully we can win this battle. We should be able to win this, but I have a feeling that there is more stuff than that they're showing me. Let's see if we can win this. But I, I asked them, I said, do you also attack the holes or the specific hard points? And they said it varies depending on Need something destroyed. if it's a capital ship or a small ship. If it's a small ship, Reporting. most of the time, they do not attack the hard points. They go after the holes. But if it's a big ship, like a capital ship, for example, a lot of the time they will go after the specific hard points, especially if they're hard points that actually matter. F 
like, uh, you know, shield. They said the one shield, the one hard point that they usually will go after is shield generators. That's the one hard point that they pretty much always go after, especially on capital ships. So I thought that was pretty interesting to hear from some players that, I'm, I'm being so serious, they are very, very good at this game. Uh, let's get you. And this is a weird choice. I regret sending my troops up here. I kind of wish we defended this point. Because an, an armor facility, or whatever it's called, a armor repair facility, a vehicle repair facility, would be really, really good right now. You guys take cover and just start shooting at stuff. But they're going to have a lot of fighter support, so I wanted to make sure that we had some anti-fighter flat guns back here. Hopefully this anti-infantry turret will get on mine and help us out. We should have... Yes, you guys. Perfect. Why don't you go ahead and hop in this thing up here. Uh, we're probably going to lose this battle. I was hoping that we'd have a lot of anti-infantry abilities since we have so much infantry. I mean, we have shock troopers, we have the uh, death troopers, obviously. So I was hoping we would be able to defend this a little bit better. Can you finish building, please? Because they have really... They're really struggling over here. Alright, he should go to town. Oh, I messed up the cinematic cam. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. Do some damage to those dudes. Oh, look at that. It's a wookie. I feel like, man, I don't know. It's so hard to win some of these battles. I don't... I, like, they shouldn't... They really shouldn't have done so well against me. I get it, they have a lot of more numbers than I do, but like they don't have that much superior troops over what I have in this battle. But I mean, they just absolutely destroy me down here. If I can manage to get all of these turrets online, we could really set up a pretty defensible point. Can you guys come over here? E webs, y'all are good to stop. You can kind of push forward a little bit more. If I can manage to get all five of these anti-infantry turrets, we would actually be, have a pretty defensible point. I'm going to send these guys up to reinforce them as well. Let's speed it up and hope that we can defend this point. Alright, let's get those turrets online. Ooh, this is kind of exciting. We might be able to do some decent defensing. They still have Chewbacca over there. I can't believe my flat guns lost so decisively to these things. Kind of a surprise. Ooh, we killed somebody. I, I didn't really see who that was. I think it was Leia, maybe? Han Solo's about to die. Chewbacca, I think, is still in that ATD. Yeah, ATPT right here. Okay, Han Solo just died. Not bad. They're just using the range against me. I think it's the biggest issue right now. Let's get this E-Web going. Love the E webs. Oh, they don't get the uh. They're just stormtrooper E webs. I thought the shock troopers got shock trooper E webs, but obviously this there's a shock troopers coming out of the barracks, so I don't know. I have one guy still alive, and he is just emoting on them. Ooh, open fire! Why don't you? Who's running all the way up there? Where are you going? That's what, you you deserve to die. What like what are we all doing? What's up with y'all like dabbing? That's what they're doing. Look at him. This guy is a sniper right here. Just quick dab. He's like, gets a kill, gets a kill, and then just dabs. Like, what are you, 12 years old? Ha ha ha. We're not doing too bad. We're, we're running out of turrets and defenses. It may have been smart. I, have, I love how the stormtroopers... Oh, that's right. These are demolition teams. I was wondering why they were doing so bad defending themselves. And I was also wondering where those missiles came from. Because I'm like, I don't think that we get missiles, do we? Come on, one more missile. Please kill this because they're about to kill that thing. It ran out of power, bro. No way. How are we doing over here? Come on. I love how he's the only one left. He has a sniper rifle, which is actually really nice. Did we get it? No? Yes? Hurry up. Come on. Get out of there. Hurry up and put charge this guy. One missile. Good shot, soldier. I like it. That's what I like to see, baby. Bombers incoming. Cheaters. 
That's so lame. These guys are cheaters. I was going to win this battle, I think. I don't know if they had enough troops. And they killed my... Oh, they killed my Stormtrooper. That's so lame. Yeah, I know my base is under attack. What are you telling me? This really sucks for the biggest reason is now we've lost both Korlag and Anaxes, which are my two infantry producing planets. Oh, you know what I can do? Retreat these guys out of here. Ooh, good plan. Good plan, Captain. I like that. Oh, we got him out. We got him out. Did y'all see that missile that hit right before I got out? Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to lose everybody. That was close. Alright, can we please get my fleet up there? Luckily, we do have the ground forces to retake this planet immediately. Let's have you join them. That sounds exciting. Let's get one scout trooper team. I think that's going to be worth it. And let's do this battle. This is going to be a massive battle for Anaxes. This might be the planet. This might be the episode of Anaxes right here. Just a lot of battles coming on. Because I might re-engage them on the ground immediately. And then try and go down southeast and at least get Rothana. Because once we get Rothana, I can get some vehicle production facilities going there. And then on Camino, I definitely want to get some... Infantry producing planets. Let's get the Bellator in. Oh man, Bellator is just massive. Coming ah, yeah, that would have been smarter. Awaiting All right, you're good there. You should be able to survive. Unfortunately, we really need to take these things out because we can't just leave them there. Um, let's put Nita right here. Let's get. Oh, we have the hair. Excuse me, we have the Harrow. I forgot about that. We got this unit in the last episode. Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to bring in the Victory 2 right here. To coordinate. 27 plus 27 equals 54. We have enough space for that and one more Raider. Let's get a Raider right here. Location confirmed. Bring in the Harrow back here, because I can't replace that. And then I'm going to bring in the Victory way over here. Hopefully, Nita and the Victory can quickly eliminate these things. And then I can re-support my, my Bellator way over here. Because look at that, how many how much damage is already taken to its shields. So you need to quickly destroy this thing. I need all of my ties over here. Ooh, I love TIE Avengers. These things are great. Or how how Runners. These are how Runners. Not as good as TIE Avengers, unfortunately. Alright, can you... I don't know. Do better. These are TIE Avengers right here. Very cool looking. I love the TIE series because they all look the same. TIE Fighters to TIE Interceptor to TIE Advance to TIE... <coughs> TIE Avengers, they all pretty much look the exact same. Alright, Bellator, you know what to do. Let's support them with our... Ion killing ships. So we have our Harrow, which is a disabler role. We have our uh, Victory 2, which is an ion boat. So between the two ships, we have the ideal armaments to support a Bellator. And that is exactly what I want this fleet to be all about. You need to stay close to the Bellator, please. Group 1, get going. Let's have both my... You guys can be my group 4. I can't remember if I've already made some groups, so I don't want to do that. Let's get you guys targeting the engines. Uh-oh, they're so reaching us. Oh, we need you to get in here. Target the whole of that thing. That's fine. You push forward and hit this thing's hole as well. I'm going to use this hero already. <laughs> Alright, you start hitting this thing. Boost your firepower. That's fine. Let's hit Pursuit on you. Get these guys to help out against those E95s as well. You can continue to fire at the hole of this ship. That's fine with me. We have already almost completely destroyed that first one. Go ahead and start switching to this one. Harrow, hit this guy as well. Nita, start pushing forward. Ooh, Nita's got the pursuit ability. That's perfect. Pursuit towards this thing's hole. Perfect, perfect. Mommers, change targets to this thing's engines. They're trying to run. Tag I didn't think they were going to run that quickly. All right, all units target the engines of this ship right here. We should have enough firepower to hit this thing. Perfect. Not a bad battle. 
I know it wasn't ideal, but I didn't think we were going to have to bring in my interdictor. I think if I brought my interdictor in, we might have taken too many casualties. But that is a good battle. No losses, that's a perfect battle. I'll take that all day long. Let's retake this planet. Let's retake this planet with fury. I'm going to go ahead and take this planet immediately as well. Let's get a juggernaut going in. We'll go ahead and sell those guys. Let's go back down here to the east. Let's go ahead and start working on the barracks here on Camino, And then let's do this battle. I wanted us to get the Emperor in some battles, man. He hasn't been in any, any battles in this campaign. Oh my god, they got some turrets going. We also kind of need some more ground forces. This is my reinforcement force. I am ready. By my oh, I think I was talking during the Emperor's intro. So he comes with Imperial Royal Guards, which are really cool because you only see them when he's on the planet or when Coruscant is attacked. If Coruscant gets attacked, you can see them there as well. This is going to be a very easy battle, but... We'll have the two M's push north, and then we'll have the Juggernaut push west. Get out of the way so the Juggernaut can move. Oh, they're retreating. Oh, they still have Chewbacca in that fleet. Dang. Alright, we have managed to retake the Maxis, which is good, because I need my barracks to get back online. We'll go ahead and... Oops, not there. Alright, perfect. Did that ISD ever make it over here? It might have. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's go ahead and remove the heroes on Coruscant and Aragal. That'll get our credits back up as well. Down, <coughs> excuse me. Down here, let's go ahead and get those two buildings going. And something like that. Perfect. We're going to start making a few thousand extra credits down here. Let's get... Uh, credit. Um, we have some ATPTs that are getting built over here as well. Group them up with you guys. I don't know if I want to retake Core Lag right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if y'all heard that, but my roommate just started... Not my roommate. One of my apartment mates just started laughing, and it scared the crap out of me. It was very loud. Ooh, the Rebellion has advanced their tech levels. They've got to be careful with that. They're going to keep advancing their tech levels, which is quite scary. All right, what do we have down here? We have a lot of uh, construction facilities, but only a couple of only a couple of capital ships already built. Another thing I really wanted to do in this episode was get to the Maw and start working on its defenses as well, because I want to start the Maw missions so that we can get the second Death Star going. Man, that's not a lot of stuff. Might want to get some golden ones, actually. Oh, they come with YE-4 gunships. Those are the gunships I was talking about in, like, four episodes ago. They're actually very, very good. All right, let's go ahead and engage this fleet with our fleet. What do we have? Put you in the Pathfinder spot. Wow, we really don't have that many capital ships. We still got to keep working on building some more ISD-2s. Perfect. Solus Vine. We'll get some mines going on Solus Vine once we get paid. And let's do the Battle of Rothana. Rothana was a remote planet in the Rothana system located in that sector near the edge of the Outer Rim Territories. Most famous for being the headquarters of the Rothana Heavy Engineering and the source of the Grand Army of the Republic's military material during the Clone Wars. In a lot of campaigns... Maybe even, yeah, in a lot of campaigns, the Empire actually usually starts with Rathana. It's kind of interesting that we don't start with Rathana in this one. This is going to be a very interesting battle because it's not a gimme. If I don't play this correctly, I could actually see myself losing this battle. Also, I need to get Darth Vader in this fleet. That's the massive casualty I'm taking right now, as I forgot to bring him back over here. Uh... Probably not the best idea to bring you in right there. Let's get the ISD-2 right here. And then put you here. Kind of a weird fleet formation. It's not really much of a formation. Alright, there's the main attack force of the enemy. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the interdictor. 
I'm okay with this. We're on the move. This is a repair station, correct? Yes, it is. Perfect. We need to capture this quickly. Ooh, that was all in my space. Maybe that wasn't the best idea to bring that in. Let's get down here and make sure that we capture this acclimator. I could actually see me really using this acclimator to its benefits. Alright, all four of you guys. No longer target this thing, target this guy. We need some anti-fighter abilities up here. Let's go get some... Ties moving in. Oh, we lost the raider, I think. I think we already lost my raider. That's not good. Let's go ahead and get the Stark Alien in. Oh, we could go ahead and bring in the Lancer as well. I think I lost my raider, because I don't know where else it would have went. Yeah, I don't see it down there either. So, definitely lost my raider, which is not a good thing. Especially in this battle, where we're kind of getting dominated in the fighter department. You go ahead and boost your firepower. You go ahead and boost your firepower as well. Kind of wish you were taking a better path, but I actually kind of understand your pathway in this one. All right, we got the repair facility going on this ISD two as well. Man, we're gonna take some back, some big casualties in this battle. I think I spread out my fleet a little bit too much. You kind of need to circle back down south here. You can circle south as well. Taking these guys on one on one is not doing me very many favors. What do we have here? Another repair facility. Let's get the acclimator going. Let's get the Star Galleon going as well. Scratch my face. It's amazing that we have so many ISDs and a, and, and a Vindicator firing at this guy and he's still surviving. Uh, these defensive planets are so defendable. I wish I could have retreated, but he's already dead. And I don't know if it's worth me retreating right now. Alright, you're good to go ahead and stop where you're at. Just kind of support the fighters. Let's get the Lancer going in here. He hasn't died quite yet. Let's get the Gladiator going. I'm going to be on B2 just to support. Bring in some Gazantes as well. Boost your firepower again. Boost your firepower as well. Ooh, okay. These guys have finally circled in. Go ahead. Both of you guys should be able to take on one MC-80 Freedom. Y'all should be good enough to do that. If you're not, that's kind of sad. You guys help them out over here. You guys can also help them out over here. You should be good to boost your firepower. I don't remember constructing anything, but okay. I don't know if I heard that, but he said construction complete. Yeah, you guys can help out kill these guys. Uh, oh, I wonder if the deploy laser turret has that sound effect, where once it's done constructing, it says con construction complete. Kind of a decent question. Finally, uh, we haven't still taken this thing out yet. I love the MC-80 Justices, but they don't really have the greatest survivability. They have that really good ability, which is really solid, the project, the, the project shield, project shield ability. But one on one, it shouldn't have died so easily to these guys. Oh, you're good. You can engage that guy. Same with you. So we did lose one IST-2 here, but he'll get replaced pretty easily by another one. Because we're the Empire and that's what we do, we replace our losses. But also, I'll bring in Vader to help out. We'll go ahead and let him retreat. I know I brought in this guy, but we killed the two capital ships. So I don't even think they had anything else in this battle. I feel like that ISD-2 was seriously the first loss of this campaign that I really should have avoided, as well as that Raider. The Star of the Galleon, I think, got lost in the fleet, so oh well. With that being said, we need to replace a lot of the losses here, because we're out of raiders, and we only have one Star Galleon left. Alright, what do they have on the ground here? Construction. Not a lot. We'll be able to retake we'll be able to take this pretty easily. Let's go ahead and have him go over, over to Bothawi. Construction complete. And we got paid. Let's get some mines, or Governor's Palace here. And a governor's palace here. 
The government's palace there. I thought Silas and Martin could build me mines. What am I? I already have one of these here. Oh. Let's make sure I'm not. Yeah, I put them on Orto Plutonia. That's right. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, perfect. Hypori, you're good as well. Over here on Camino, what do we have? We have a level 2 barracks going down. We do have a few extra credits, as I completely messed up that camera zoom. Let's see, we need some Star Galleons and some Raiders coming in to help out. And we're out of credits, as per usual. I wish I had another scout other than Garantan. That's right, we're building a bunch of stuff over here. Alright, we need one more payday to hit. And then we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and have the attack go in here. What's good about the barracks being lost is we at least have a lot of infantry to hold me over, especially if I can combine my current ground force with the reinforcements that are currently doing a lot more than reinforcing. They're trying to retake the core worlds. But if I can group those two guys together, we'll have a lot of, a lot of ground forces, infantry-wise. I also want to get some more heroes going. Especially the space heroes. There's that one fighter space hero that's really, really good. I think the, f the fighter space heroes, I think Rose Squadron is potentially the best hero in the game. Because they're so hard to kill. And that's also true. Well, actually, I like the um, Tonfolk hero. With the 177th platoon or whatever they are. Really, really solid unit. Trying to decide what I want to build here. Let's get some ATSTs. And I'm okay with the TX 130s. Let's get some shock troopers and death troopers. And some more shock troopers with the anti armor type. They had a lot of infantry, didn't they? Let's get you guys going. And then this is kind of a weird choice. And that's why I'm not going to bring him in. Let's bring in some ATSDs. I wouldn't mind actually getting rid of this guy quickly. But I have TIE Fighters for that. Alright. Let me get all units. I need these shock troopers to come in. That's what we're waiting on right now. Alright, what do we got? Some vehicle turrets and infantry turrets. I'm going to solo you guys out and tell them to target that. That way, the only thing it targets is that airspeeder, so hopefully we can kill it quickly. Rothan is an interesting planet because it's obviously that main planet that the Republic uses for a lot of its staging grounds. But it's like an ice planet, so... You would think having a lot of construction facilities here wouldn't be the most beneficial thing ever. Wow, that's a lot of infantry, or a lot of vehicles. Oh crap, he lost my scouts. Whoops, that was an accident. Back up, back up, back up. Got a lot of firepower right now, holy cow. I guess I'm gonna bring in these guys to help out. Oh, I lost one of my scout trooper platoons, that's awkward. Uh, V-25s are definitely the biggest target right now. Because T-1As don't really have that much anti-vehicle ability. T3H's on the other hand are very deadly. Why did he push back up? I said go backwards. You guys need to push up though. Put you guys in the cover. I want the infantry, which is group 1, go ahead and keep cover. I want these guys to take out the vehicle. The, the uh, bunker turret over here. They should be ideal for doing such a thing. All of my ATSTs, you guys can do like the two. I, I haven't actually lost a single ATST, ATST yet. Pretty good. Alright, all infantry, group one, push forward. Group two, actually go ahead and target this guy as well. You guys finish this guy off. Ah, shoot. We're about to lose a lot of vehicles to this stupid turret. Alright, everything target this guy. That thing is now destroyed. The missiles between the ATSD walkers as well as my shock trooper platoon should be enough to take this thing out quickly. But we did lose a decent chunk of ATSTs. Whew! 
This is what I've been dreaming of this whole campaign, was a balance between vehicles and infantry. It seems like this whole campaign we've had a massive amount of vehicles and not a lot of infantry. But that is no longer the case. We have finally gotten our infantry to the front lines right before I lost all of my barracks. Yep. Anti-aircraft anti turret is no longer useful for you guys. I do need to build some more TIE Strikers though. TIE Strikers are amazing on the ground. Um, group 1, you guys hit there. Group 2, you guys go over here. Wow, they still have a decent resistance. But you need to finish off this guy. Do I have anything fast like ITTs? Yeah, that's perfect. I would love, honestly, if I could build a platoon of just scout bikes, just speeder bikes. That would be really useful because at that point you can have something fast that's able to get around the battlefield quickly and also be able to support your, you know, be an escort to your vehicles, but also have some decent anti-infantry ability. I would love to see something along those lines. Because right now, I think the best escort vehicle is either, strangely enough, ITTs or like TX 130s. Because any of these ATSTs, even though they are definitely very good at escorting, I would love for something to be a little bit quicker than some walkers. So you're either talking about TX 130s, 2Ms, or ITTs. Because you don't have enough scout bites coming from these guys. So maybe I'm forgetting a unit or two. But. I guess ATPTs aren't horrible at that specific duty. Alright, I don't think we actually took any losses here. I think, for the most part, all my losses were non-permanent. But I did lose potentially enough ATSTs to... Oh, I did lose this guy, I'm not really worried about that though. Yep, I did lose one ATST platoon. That's unfortunate. But we have t captured Rothana, which is very, very good. We're going to go ahead and scout Bothawi. And then once we check out what, it has, what we have on Bothawi, or Bothawai. Another set of... Ooh, we have technology. That would be huge to eliminate. But a bunch more defenses. Over here, can you please not be on Vespin anymore? Because we need a general over here. We have also opened up hut space, which is going to be interesting. I'm excited to battle the huts. They have very unique fleets and armies that you don't see even on the Black Sun. Cairn of the Moidia is definitely working on being a very defensive planet. But for now, let's go ahead and focus up on here. Let's get another... Wow, that is a lot. See, what's the point of building these guys? I get they're cheaper. What else do they come with? Space building construction time. That's actually kind of useful. Let's go ahead and build one of these. And then finish it off with that. But what else What else do we have here? Um, weekly upkeep is kind of rough. It does add population. And it does get the deploy turret. Okay, that's pretty good. And obviously the repair. So that's what I, th that's what I thought it had. There was the repair ability. But the deploy turret is actually going to be very useful. I would love to see this thing come with more fighter platoons, though. <clears throat> because it's not that much more or better than a simple colon platform. So I would like to see this thing have at least maybe like one more TIE fighter squadron or something like that. That'd be nice. Fight corruption. Let's do that right now. Because ironically enough, we managed to lose that mission last time we got it. That's fine. Go ahead and fight the corruption way back there. Let's get a... One of you guys... And then another one of these guys over here as well. Let's get you guys grouped up with the ground forces over here. And Naxes, keep working on your defenses. And we are broke once again. I've said that a lot in this campaign. We, we seem to be broke a lot. Kind of like me in real life right now. Kind of broke. Oh, they have a lot of stuff here. Six money makers right here. Over here, they did build some more stuff as well. Get rid of him. Over here, let's go to Coruscant. They put one in the Aragal. Man, we just killed these guys earlier this episode. They've already been rebuilt. On, on Camino, let's get our level 3. 
barracks. That'll be really, really good. Over here on Rothana, do I actually want to invest in vehicle facilities right now? I honestly don't think I do. I think I'm just going to not do that right now. Because I don't think I need to. And axes. I also need one of those and then level two of these. Perfect. On Chandrilla, we need to build a space station on Chandrilla because you can build space mines on Chandrilla. That is definitely something that we need to do. Corridor over. So that's the problem with building so many defenses on the ground. If they're never attacking it, which I'm not necessarily complaining, but that is a lot of weekly upkeep that we're taking. So you got to be careful where you build your defensive planets. Like I said, always build them on the front lines. And once that planet is no longer on the front lines, remove them immediately. Because then it's just costing you a bunch of money and they're never going to get attacked. Right now, Corita does have a space station, so that's one reason why they're not attacking it. But eventually they're going to attack Corita or Cato on the Mordia, which is currently being held through the space. Here's an interesting topic to talk about. I've always had this theory that Awakening the Rebellion, and actually most of Empire at War, has this feature. I don't know if this is a vanilla feature or modded features, but it's like they never attack a planet unless it seems like it's unless they know they have enough units to take it. Now, sometimes I've seen that that's not necessarily true because I have... If I had like a bunch of turbo lasers and stuff, sometimes they won't bring in quite enough because I have some skill in this game. I know a lot of the times I talk about how I'm not like the best player. I am pretty good at this game. Um, so sometimes I'm able to win battles, but I've always kind of felt like that's been a, a thing in this game. Is they always bring in seemingly a lot to overwhelm you. But I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. Group 2, you guys can go ahead and push up. Actually, Group 2, go ahead and hit the uh, show generators on this thing. And then... Awaiting orders. Group 1. I guess just escort them. Sir, I... I don't know how I feel about the bolt cruisers. Uh hangar hangar mode I feel like it's kind of useless I like the bolt cruiser as it is I actually really like the bolt cruiser I think it's a great escort screener it's really good at that screening role I think it does it I think it fits it pretty well so I don't see why you would want it to be a carrier unless you like really needed it but even look at the carriers T wings E95s and R41s it's not really that good of units you're the free unit I remember that or non free unit I'm gonna kill that and just retreat Kill that thing, squadron men. I was watching... <laughs> another thing that I posted in the Awakening Rebellion Discord was... I was watching the Clone Wars. You know the Amshot Corvettes, which are the, one of the new units for the Black Sun? But they're, you see them all the time on Space Station Defense Battles, the Amshot Corvettes. I saw one of them in the Clone Wars, and I posted it in the AOTR Discord. I thought it was really funny. Let's quickly get my defensive fleet over there before they send ground troops because I don't want to lose this planet. That's a lot of money I'm making on this planet. Let's get my ground troops ready to go because I have a feeling they're going to get there in time. Oh, brother. I need somebody cheap. Let me get one of these guys back. We do have some money again. I need some more raiders. And... Give me one less raider. Give me a vindicator. I'm going to get a vindicator and send it to my front lines. I feel like a Vindicator is... What I want right now is an ISD-2, but I don't have enough money for that. So I feel like a Vindicator can do a decent job at pretty much the same role. Oops, I was trying to get that. But luckily we did get here in time. That's really nice. Alright, let's do this battle. The Space Battle of Jada. Copy. Advancing. Alright, no space stations are in this battle, so let's go ahead and actually get my fleet ready to go. Bring in the Bellator. Bring in the Interdictor way back here. Maneuvering. 
Bring the hero right here in the back. Making the jump to that system. The victory two right here. The real reason why I wanted this guy was to send him in. Switching shields to double front. Unfortunately, it's like they have some pirates here. I would love for him to sit in this little asteroid field and give my Bellator the ability to see these guys way in the back here. That'd be really, really nice. Let's probably get Captain Nita in here. Put him right there. I think that's a good spot. Let's get these fighters going to the front lines. Later, you can kind of sit right there. I think that's a decent spot. Alright, go ahead and hit this guy. Let's have all of you four go ahead and hit this one. Alright, let's get some fighters going after their bombers. Alright, how are we doing? We're losing the shields really quickly on this guy. We need to deal with this thing as well at some point, somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm actually kind of getting scared. They're doing some serious damage to me. Quickly switch your targets to this. Hit this guy. Hero, go after this one right here for me. Why the heck are you all the way up there, soldier? Boost your firepower quickly. Do you have iron stuns, White? I don't think he does, does he? Hmm, interesting. Do I want to prevent them from retreating? I think I do. Let's go ahead and hit the prevent retreat. Turn that... Uh, did it re register that I turned it off? Oops, I probably should not have done that. I'm not going to be super mad if they retreat now because I I don't want to lose my Bellator. I feel, if I, I feel like if I lose my Bellator, we are going to be in a very sticky situation. But I feel like so far we're doing pretty good. Alright, quickly destroy this thing's engines. Quickly, quickly, we're not going to destroy... No way that thing got away. First of all, it's stunned, so it shouldn't have got away. Well, that was an interesting battle. Let's go ahead and build a space station here. Unfortunate. Let's remove the hero and Aragal for the second time this episode. And then send my fleet over to Camino. Construction complete. Really starting to push north now. Push east wise at least. Northeast or southeast. Alright, still working on these guys. Hopefully having that other thing built will help. For the fleet wise over here, I wonder what else I'm going to need. What does it say right now? The hunt. Oh, not that one. Uh, research, maybe? Yeah, take... Okay. Mock Jared has contacted you. He ordered you to make sure that Bemelimilisk arrives in the Maw Research Facility. Conquer all planets in between and secure the Maw. We're not obviously going to do that, but we will definitely do the securing of the Maw. It's not bad fleet right here, but I guess we can maybe send... Let's get... A couple of these guys and call it a day we'll try it with just this five more things as well as the fleet that's already on it unfortunately we're gonna have to send garandin back to pick up Bevel limitless to send him to the maw and then we'll try the battle over the maw it's gonna be an insanely fun battle it's always fun when doing those mission battles because it's just a big fleet versus a big fleet and it's gonna be a close one as well Gunboat standing by. Yeah. Right. your reinforcements. We did get a raider up here, which is nice. ISD2. You know the drill. Uh, how tight do I want my fleet to be? Let's put ISD2 and see what happens. Maybe we'll go ahead and put Vader right here. Oh, that's so cool looking. Got the Munificent right there. What we got right here? Another Munificent. Another Munificent. Was there like a big battle of CIS units here? I mean, I'm watched. I'm on season four of the Clone Wars, and I don't remember a massive Bothawi battle. Looks like we got some sort of pirates over here. Let's get another ISD two right here. Oh yeah, they got. Oh, that's their tech right. I forgot about that. Okay, you should be able to push this way. Let's have you hit the hull of this thing. You can hit the hull of this thing as well. I think a gladiator would be really good in this battle. Gladiator and a lancer. Let's get gladiator right here. Let's get the lancer right here. Let's get a star galleon as well. 
Yeah, I like this fleet. I like this fleet. I think some Gazantes would be nice. Uh, maybe another. You can stop for your enemies. Maybe a Vindicator up here would help. And then I'm gonna save whatever space I have left for right now. Let's get this turret going, friend. Let's get these type roots going up here. Vader, you can target those U wings. The U wings are hard to kill. They have so much uh, health. They're very defensible. Let's get some random, maybe on B2 going right here. Let's get some, might be the time to bring her in as well as another raider. They got a lot of fighters coming in here. All right, all you guys help out just from this thing. Perfect. I think this is the perfect fleet design for this battle. They do outnumber us fighter-wise, especially if they were to send in all these Z uh, Z95s, but we have a lot more anti-fighter ability than they do. Let's get the repair facility. Look at that repair. Back to full health already. Love to see it. Love to see it. We did lose the shields on our friend over here. What are they shooting at me with back here? I don't even know. Oh, they do have this guy coming up. Come here, MC-75. Are you in range yet? No. Once he turns all the way, we're going to hit him with, hit him with everything we've got. How are we doing over here? Perfect. Doing well. Indicator. Yeah, go ahead and join up with that other ISD2 over there. Ooh, they got a lot of artillery ships. Where's my other star galleon at? There it is right there. Booster firepower. Can you hit the things engines? Raider, push forward. Whoops. Raider, push forward. You guys. Go ahead and push up as well. It's been a blast watching all of the Clone Wars again. So much fun. Because the later seasons, like season 4, 5, 6, and obviously 7, I've only seen like one time. So I haven't seen those nearly as much as I have the other ones. Season 1, I've seen a hundred times. But I'm excited to watch through... Uh, not that bad. I actually am excited to watch Bad Batch Season 1 again, but I'm really excited to watch The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 again. Because, obviously, Season 3 is coming out. Season 3 is coming out March 1st, which is right around the corner, as they say. It's right around the corner. So we're going to have the end of Bad Batch, I guess, throughout the rest of February. And then right as February ends, it's going to be some Mando Season 3 time. How are we doing over here? They have a lot of fighters that are kind of kicking my butt. I need you guys to help take out these artillery ships, though. Hit that one. You hit that one. And then I'll see if I can send you some fighter reinforcements. Yeah, you guys go help them out. Because they definitely need you. Let's get one of my raiders to kind of help them, but kind of by pushing to itself. Uh, that's fine. Just go right there. That's fine. They are really pushing this guy to. They're gonna kill it. They killed my gladiator. Highly annoying. Excuse me. All right, they still have so many artillery ships. We gotta deal with these guys. Let's go. Boost your firepower. That's fine. Is the Vindicator actually beating the IST two in damage right now? That's crazy. Oh, it zooms out so much. I think it's because you hit the Bellator. And then it zooms you out super far on the Bellator. And then it keeps that same zoom. Hit this thing's hole. And it will be... Wow, look at the firepower with that boosted weapon fire. Oh my gosh. Insane. Does she just die? No, oh, she's about to. Where you at? Run, lady, run. Boost your engine and run. So stupid easy, uh gr 75s and headhunters right here. Alright, one has been killed. You can kind of help out destroying this thing because it's still alive somehow. These things don't have engines and it's kind of frustrating. Because they're so hard to kill without those engines. 
virtually in, impossible to kill or like slow down because look at how far it's run from all the way over here getting hit by this isd past vader and past the second isd too some may call it a coward let's kill off these the rest of these small little fighters still don't know how i feel about these lancers man i want them to be good but it just seems like they're not I'm not doing horrible, but I mean, there's just, you know, fives, I think. Another X-Wings. I mean, all four of these guys are all four pretty... I mean, three of them are designated anti-fighter ships, and they should have killed that guy a lot easier than they did, in my opinion. Where are you going, soldier? Go through the asteroids if you have to. If you would just turn and shoot at it like the Vindicator did, I promise you, you have enough range. All right, let's get you guys to help out support this guy. Vader is getting 1v1 right now by some defense satellites, and it seems like he's losing. What is it? What we got way back here? Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. All right, she's fully recovered pretty much, so she can go and help out. You guys help destroy these guys as well. Finally, the ISD-2 has arrived to this battle. Target the hole and deal a lot of damage. They still have so many bombers and fighters over here. We're going to lose these guys if we're not careful. You need one Star Galleon just to sit on this guy. One of these Gazantes go over here. One of these Gazantes hit this one. TIE Fighters. I understand this help out with those. You can also help out with those as well. Raider. Pursuit ability. You can fire at maximum firepower. Finally, we have hit the point where we should be able to win this northern area now that the reinforcements has arrived. The concept of reinforcements has always fascinated me, even as a kid. Watching a movie where, like, the good guys are barely losing and all of a sudden in come the bombers and it's just amazing. I just finished the arc of Umbara on Season 4 of The Clone Wars and there's that one scene where... They're just struggling, 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 struggling. All of a sudden, the bombers come in, and the clones are all hooting and hollering, and it's just epic, man. Wouldn't ever want to be in one of those situations, but to see it on TV is very fun to watch. What's your favorite Clone Wars arc? Pretty solid question. One of my favorite arcs that I wish they did a little bit more in is the Battle for Kamino. Now I do, you do have to realize the Rishi Moon episode, season, or episode four, maybe five, episode five, it's the Rishi Moon episode, technically that is part of that arc, I assume, even though it wasn't in the same, um, episode or whatever, it wasn't the same, like, actual arc. What do we have here? Ooh, that's useful, give me that. What do we have over here? You guys, wow, a bunch of fighters doing nothing. You know what's really good about these things? Real quick is Tamana gas refiners can generate a lot of income by mining the rare gas called Tamana. Tamana is used in weapons like blasters and turbo lasers, therefore very valuable. Worlds like Bespin can thrive economically only because of this resource. But when it comes to defending or using these things in battle, they come with a garrison of two and two planetary defense squadrons, which are those bean ships. I don't know why they have that name, but the yes, bean sir. ships, they're very, first of all, they're very good fighters, but Two extra squadrons is always very useful. So that was a very close battle. My units were very separated due to all the asteroids. But I liked it. That was a fun battle. We did lose that gladiator. I tried to keep him alive. But it's those stupid artillery ships that are just... Have the longest range in the game. Don't have engines. And holy crap is it going to be hard to take this planet. Wow. Not only do they have almost maxed out defenses on the ground, if this was level 3, but they also have Chewbacca, Rogue Squadron, another hero, or at least a rebel officer, not really a hero, and then a bunch of raiding troops, which we need to get rid of. Before I forget, let's go ahead and send you over to Kuat. Because once this thing is finished building, I think we're going to go ahead and do the Battle of the Maw. You guys keep up. Anaxes. Give me 
Give me the space station over Jada. Alright, this. What do we have on this? The one thing I do want to get going again is my <coughs> raiding troops. I want to get my raiding troops. I think in an, it's probably going to take one more episode before they're ready. But once they're ready, I want to raid a specific planet I have in mind. I don't want to give away too secretly. But if you can guess which planet it is, kudos to you. Because I think it's going to be an actual planet that I, if I raid it, it will actually be useful for me to capture. Which I can't necessarily say that was true for those previous planets I was thinking about raiding. We're doing pretty good. We have a few extra credits right now. They don't really know what to spend on. Could go ahead and invest into Rothana, but I don't think I want to do that right now. Let's get you on the ground here. Ground forces, you can push up to Bothwe. We're going to need a lot more ground forces before we can take that. Did we ever build... Man, that's the... Third time this episode they have gotten that on Coruscant. So for the developers that were looking for proof that those guys are really, really cranked up, there's your proof. Space defense. Golem 3. Just for one XG1. That is so useless. Where could I even put that? I don't even know where I could put it. A, a Golem 3? That's a hefty Golem. can't even put that anywhere. Oh, space mines. Yes, get the space mines going on Tangerilla. Absolutely. I'm just going to have to build this thing for now on Coruscant, and I'll just sell it back. Because I don't want that on Coruscant at all. Let's go ahead and invest into some more assassin agents. And then down here, do I have an elite AT-80 AT AT built? Or is this just the... Oh, I don't have any of them built. I guess the elite AT-80 is back up here. On Frasia. Yeah. Alright, so that's good. So we... I feel like we're pretty ready. Let's go and get another IDT, because I think I sold that other one. We did lose my SP T in the last battle, and then we can get some TIE Strikers as well. Go and sell that and get another TIE Striker unit. I would love to see... the... Empire have more air units because right now all they have is TIE Strikers and TIE Fighters. That's not really a lot. So I would love to see them. Alright, so now that we have these two guys combined, we can send them over to Kuat, but I'm still waiting on these three buildings to be built as well as some extra Gazantes to help out. You guys can join up their fleet down here. That <laughs> Dreadnought that has been sitting on the Void Station for a year and a half is finally ready to be grouped up with Bothawi. What's really cool about stations like the Void Station and Ring of Caffeine is they have these special structures. We have the Gravity Well Generator, or station, which obviously comes with a generator, which is the interdictability. Pretty solid. I like how it's cheap. It's pretty cheap. That's good to see. What is this one? Sensor Array. The sensor array is used to keep track of hyperspace movements in a wide area. The station itself is only lightly armed, but reveals enemy fleet movements. Sensor reveal reveals information about the enemy movement within a large radi radius of the satellite. Ideal for thwarting surprise attacks. Does that include, like, these planets? Because I think it does. I'm assuming it does. That would be a pretty solid investment on this planet right here. Let's see what this does. Because I don't think it's talking about just the, gal or the, just the tactical battle. I think it's talking about the galaxy map as well. Yes, sir. All right, with that being said... We have a lot of units going back and forth between these two planets. Let's kill off this hero. Um, let's get the ground forces going back up here. Recruiting troops. Once all these guys are ready to go, we will be ready to go as well. Sell off that because we can build this prison. Prisons are really good. Prisons are absolutely important. Did I ever build... Oh yeah, I was saving credits to build another ISD-2 that I just spent them all. That was an accident. Let's get the ground forces reinforced with the main army. I'm finally ready to send these guys over here. And once that's done, we can finally go ahead and attack Bothawi. On Tatooine, I'm going to do something weird and build a Moth Palace. Because I can't remember where else I can build one. Corellia, we can build one. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the one on Tatooine. That way I can build... And ISD2. Unit in 
Get another IC2 going to replace the one we lost earlier in this episode. And I'm proud of this episode. I think I'm going to keep playing for a little while longer. Ooh, man, we've been playing for 30 more minutes. Oh, it did. Look at that. We can see all of these ships. All of these planets right here. We can see everything that they've got going on. I don't think these were here, obviously, before I built that. That's really, really cool. I like that. I was literally just... The reason I even clicked on this planet was to talk about this thing. I didn't even really see that we could build this thing right here. That's awesome. I really, really like that. I was just about to... The reason I clicked on it, because I wanted to talk about how I wish they would do more with unique structures like this. Having unique structures placed all around the galaxy. Even for, like, Bakura, which you have the Bakuran defense planet the Bakuran planetary defense which is only on this planet have more unique structures like that I love just the unique stuff all over this mod absolutely fantastic and with that I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode really proud of how we did this episode we defended the Naxes we have secured the core worlds even more Kate and the Mordius fully ready to go Charitas fully ready to go Coruscant even more defended we now have captured Rothana and have fully invested into Kamino. We are getting our raiding troops online. If you think you are capable of guessing which planet Training it is troops. that I want to raid, in the comment sections, a cookie goes to you. One of you actually knows because I was telling you earlier. But yeah. In the next episode, the Battle of Bothwi, which is going to be a massive ground battle. We all saw what they had. It is a lot of stuff. Also, in the next episode is probably going to be the Battle for the Maw. Super excited for that. That is a really, really intense battle. That is a full-on campaign, like, scripted battle. It's going to be very intense. Thanks for watching.